Hi friends, how are you? A pleasant, wonderful good afternoon to all. So, here firstly, I thankful for our secretary, Dr. R. S. Pravin Kumar Sargaru for introducing such these programs and my topic is gaseous state. Before going to topic, I need to ask you some questions in our daily life. First one, mainly in summer when we are traveling on long road traveling. So here the vehicles like bike, car, buses, etc. The tires of vehicles will blast. Why it is? And second one, we have burn. We have burn. Why it is spongy and fluffy? And here we will use many of members will use spray. Many of members will use spray. How the gas is compressed in the bottle? And my questions are here when we traveling in air, the hot air balloons, how they are flying? These all questions you will be answered by watching till my end of my PPT. So let's go to topic before here I want to ask you one question. Here what is this? Yeah, this is a book which has mass. And when I am placing here, it occupies some space. It occupies some space. So, a substance which has mass and occupies space is known as matter. Yeah, it is known as matter. So, here example of matters. Example, stone and book. and pen, table, etc. These are the examples of matter and class, classification of matter on the basis of physical states at room temperature. Matter has classified into three states. First one is solid, liquid and gas. What are that? Solid, liquid and gas. Okay. Here to in general our molecules have two types of tendency. First one is here, first one is mutual attraction tendency and second one is escaping tendency. Here if mutual attraction tendency is high then escaping tendency then it is considered as solid and if mutual attraction tendency is equal to escaping tendency then it is classified as the matter is classified as liquid. If the mutual attraction tendency is lower than escaping tendency, then the matter is classified as gas. Okay? Have you understood? If mutual attraction tendency is high, then escaping tendency, it is classified as solid. If mutual attraction tendency is equal to escaping tendency, then it is classified as liquid. If mutual attraction tendency is lower than escaping tendency, it is classified as gas. We will discuss the differences between solid, liquid and gases. Okay. So, here for explaining that, I am by experiment, I will explain you. Here I took, I took a syringe which is filled with chalk powder. Here I filled chalk powder in syringe of 20 ml. When I am applying an external pressure to the piston, Okay, here I am applying external pressure to the piston. Yeah, it is not changing its state. Yes or no? It is not changing its state. By this, we can say that if we in this syringe, it is a solid, no? So, when we are applying an external force, it is not changing because here in this solid have the intermolecular forces is high. Take an another example stone. Here I am applying pressure. It is not changing its state. Yes or no? So, it has 
intermolecular forces is high and the intermolecular distance is short for that it is not moving if you see the figure 1 in figure 1 the intermolecular forces have bonded tightly for that it is not unable it is unable to change its state and next going to gases if going to uh, gases uh, liquid i am taking 20 ml okay when i am applying an external pressure yeah it is moving slightly here it is came okay it is changed its state it means here in this liquid we have the intermolecular forces is lesser than solid and the intermolecular the intermolecular distances are larger than solids so the state is changing in liquid next here going to gases going to gases here i took 20 ml it is empty so it is filled with air so when i am applying external pressure wow yes exactly see here it is changed its state Yes or no? Yeah, it is changed state. By this we can say the intermolecular forces is too much less as compared to solid and liquid and the intermolecular distances is too high in gases as compared to solid and liquid. And here I took a stone now. when I am placing here, once observe it carefully, when I am placing here and I am placing it in plate. Okay, is there any change in solid substance? No changes in this substance. No changes occurred. Okay, it means here it have a definite shape and volume. For that, it is not changing its shape and size. And next, going to liquid. Here, I am taking water and pouring it in the small glass cup or small cup so observe it what changes you will observe and next pour in flask okay here before i am pouring the shape of water is yeah glass uh, bigger shape and if I take the glass, when I am pouring it inside the glass, so here it uh, occurred in glass shape and the shape of water in flask is flask shape. By these three, by observing this all, we can say that the liquid will occupy a container shape. Okay? Have you understood? Here it occupied a container shape, but the volume of water is same again it is same in beaker yes or no here by this activity we can say that liquid have a definite volume but it did not have a definite shape the shape is container shape I am going to liquid here we know max uh, here I will say you here we have air, but it is invisible. So, it did not have any shape and volume. Next, when I am applying an external pressure force on this, it not changing its state. Yes or no? So, we can say that it is a rigid body. Rigid means by applying an external force, it will not change its state and size and shape. Okay? Friends, here liquid here liquid we have here the state of liquid shape here see yeah okay it is changing its shape when i am putting an finger so by this we can say it is not a rigid 
by applying pressure it is changing its size and shape going to gases here when i am applying force it is changing its shape and size so it is not a rigid body and the examples of solid are in our daily life we know stone and we are writing pen using book etc and for liquids for liquids it is a water and gasoline petrol etc next going to gases the examples of gases n2 h2 air etc so by this next measurable properties of gases i will explain you with example okay here i took 20 ml it is a empty okay are you able to see yeah you are here it has 20 ml it is empty means filled with air okay here when i am applying when i am pressure applying pressure to piston then the gas is compressing yes or no you are able to see this when i am uh, applying pressure to piston then it is compressing by this we can say the gases have compressibility nature if i leave it okay i remove the pressure wow the gas is expanding by this i can say the gas have expansibility nature okay when i am applying an pressure to this gas okay here the molecules will collide each other and walls of the syringe and here colliding with uh, my finger here colliding with my finger i am here observing i am feeling pressure on my finger yeah i am yes by this i can say that gases exert pressure okay and next if here if we take gas i took an gas okay here balloon contains gas so ah uh, listen here it is a gas once catch it i am leaving it okay wow it's moving na yes it's moving and if i throw stone it will f fall down it won't move because it has more mass okay and it has less mass it has more mass and more density and for gases it has less mass and less density so it is moving by this we can say the gases have low density and i want to say you this here spray many of members will use spray here when we spray this now the gas will enter near me to a person far to me means here they will feel a pleasant smell because the diffusibility of nature i want to say you one feeling in my class which is held in our college that one day i sat at the corner of my class my friend came late so when he came late after sometimes i felt a pleasant smell why it is after when he came near me i asked him oh when you are coming when you came near me i got a pleasant smell i felt a pleasant smell why it is i asked him i asked him ए भाई क्या चल रहा है ही सेड मी ए फॉग चल रहा है हियर मीन्स हियर ही जस्ट सेड मी दैट 
and I know that here diffusion, the diffusibility of gas travel from near me to a person other when I did an experiment. When he entered, it came near me. By this, we can say the gas have diffusibility nature. Okay. When I did this experiment, okay, the balloon moved randomly. Yeah, it is moved randomly because it has high kinetic energy. Instead, here in case of solid, it won't move because it didn't. It has less kinetic energy. In gases, it has more kinetic energy. Okay, friends, have you under, understood what are the measurable properties of gases? Next, for to explain these measurable properties, some gas laws were proposed. So, now I am entering to the topic, gaseous law. Okay, gaseous law. Now, in this gaseous law, first one is Boyle's law. Boyle's law states that at constant temperature and number of moles, the pressure of given mass of gas is inversely proportional to the volume of gas. By this statement, we can see if pressure increases, the volume decreases. They are inversely proportional to. If pressure decreases, the volume increases. So, P is equals to K by V. Here, P is the pressure of the gas and K is the proportionality constant and V is the volume of the gas. P V is equals to K. Okay. For 2 moles, P 1 V 1 is equals to P 2 V 2. And here I want to, this is theoretically, I want to explain you by practically. Okay, friends, are you ready? Yeah. Now, I will explain you with uh, practically. Here, I took a syringe, okay, which is empty, okay, which is empty, means it contains gas, yes or no? It contains gas. Here, I am applying and pressure, here it has 20 ml, it means volume, the gas volume is 20 ml. And when I am applying and pressure, oh, the volume is decreasing, right? Yeah. If I decrease the pressure, what will happen? You listen and see carefully. Okay? Yeah, volume is increasing. If I uh, increase pressure, the volume is decreasing. And if I decrease the pressure, the volume is increasing. Yes or no? By this experiment, we can say, Pressure is inversely proportional to the volume. Okay, friends, this example is states that Boyle's law has proved. And for by coming graphs, here we know the proportionality relation. If pressure increases, the volume decreases. If pressure decreases, the volume increases. For curve 1 at constant temperature, here first constant temperature T1, when pressure increases, the volume decreases. Okay, friends, when pressure increases, the volume decreases. As for T2 is same, similarly T3 also. If pressure increases, the volume decreases. And it is drawn, plotted at a constant temperature. So, it is known as isotherm. Okay, friends, isotherm. Iso means constant and therm means temperature. Isotherm means at constant temperature, the graph pressure versus volume. They are inversely proportionality. So, this is if it increases, the volume decreases. If pressure decreases, the volume increases. Next, going to graph 2, here when pressure increases, these are in inversely proportionality means P is directly proportional to 1 by V, we know that. So, if P increases, 1 by V also increases, yes or no? For curve 2, if P increases, 1 by V also increases, they are proportionality. Then the curve is passing from the origin in a straight line, okay, in a straight line and 
in our live daily examples are here we have spray i asked you a question that how the compressed aroma large amount of aroma is filled in small amount of volume by applying boyle's law here these are in inversely proportionality by this they applied and high pressure okay for low volume e and they have filled the bottle next going to charles law charles law states that at constant pressure and number of moles the temperature of a given mass of a gas is directly proportional to volume of that gas okay friends at constant pressure and number of moles the temperature of a given mass is directly proportional to volume of that gas means here if volume increases the temperature also increases okay friends if volume increases the temperature also decrease increases if volume decreases the temperature also decreases v is equals to kt here k is the proportionality constant and v is the volume of the gas t is the temperature of the gas okay friends this is theoretically now i will prove it practically okay friends okay here i took <laughs> here this is a hot water friends i am taking hot water okay friends i am pouring it in a beaker okay friends i am pour a hot water i am taking a bottle and placing a balloon and closing the mouth of the bottle okay friends i closed the balloon by and when i am placing in hot water wow see here what happened the balloon volume increased yes or no the balloon volume increased by this we can say that have you understood if the temperature increases the volume also increases of the gas here when i increase the temperature of the balloon then the volume also increased of the balloon next second activity that here first i am pouring a colored water okay friends i am pouring a colored water in the plate okay friends here i am pouring a colored water once observe it okay colored water here it is a colored water i am placing a candle i am lighting a matchstick okay i am lighting a candle okay friends have you observed this and i am placing a conical flask i am placing a conical flask what changes you will observe observe it friends wow a colored water is rising up why it is why it is because friends here when i lightened here a candle and placed a flask in that area the temperature is increasing by the candle 
and here the gas will be heated and it tries to expand, it tries to expand, but this place is insufficient. For that, it escapes from the mouth of the conical flask. Then here we can say by this, when it is here, the temperature is low, okay? the temperature uh, pressure is decreased and our atmospheric pressure is constant. This constant pressure applies an external force and the liquid raises up. It means here temperature increase and the gas also increased, volume of the gas also increase. So, they have proportionality constant. This proves Charles law and our examples of Charles law are here I asked you why the bread is in is spongy and fluffy because they will use yeast. Okay, friends, yeast and it gives releases carbon dioxide and the it releases carbon dioxide now. Then here when it releases carbon dioxide, then the amount will be decreases, reduced, then it will be like spongy. Okay, friends. And I asked you question when we are traveling long journey in summer because here the temperature in summer is high. When temperature increases, the volume of tire is also increased, but the gap, the space is insufficient. So, it will expand and blast. This is the reason. Okay, friends, these are the examples and next going to graphs here we know that proportionality constant they have proportionality relation at constant pressure so it is known as isobar okay friends if pressure if volume increases temperature also increases next friends going to avogadro's law at, it states that at constant temperature and pressure equal number of gases contains equal number of moles so friends v is equals to kn V is directly proportional to N, V is the volume of the gas and N is the number of moles of the gas. Here friends, we will prove this, if I take a large amount of gas and small, here I took, it is large amount of volume and it contains large amount of gas and here it contains large number of moles. In case of small balloon, it contains large small amount of volume, small end of amount of gas and small number of gases. Because here by this we can say if large amount of volume contains large amount of moles, if small amount of gas contains small amount of volume contains small amount of gas, they have proportionality. It proves Avogadro's law. By graph if V increases N also increases they have proportionality. Next by these three equations we have drawn a ideal gas equation by combining these three we get V is directly proportional to NT by P. Here if we remove proportionality constant we get R it is the universal gas constant V is equals to NRT by P, PV is equals to NRT. Here P is the pressure of the gas, V is the volume of the gas. N is the number of moles, R is the universal gas constant, T is the absolute temperature. By here we know P is the atmospheric pressure, it value 1.01 into 10 power of 5 and V is the at STP we have 22.7 liter per mole and N is the 1 mole by and T is the at, uh, absolute temperature 273.15 Kelvin. By applying this, we get R is equals to 8.314, 8.314, here we know uh, P is the Pascal and for volume meter cube by and N is the 1 mole and K is the, T is the Kelvin. It means Pascal meter cube for 
Kelvin mole inverse. So, by this I want to conclude this gases law are used in our daily life. So, by this I, I am thankful for our Dr. R. S. Prin Kumar Garu and our principal sir and our lecture for giving and supporting for this program. Thank you.